the latest in warehouse automation. Talk of my conversation today with Gina Chung. She is Vice President of Corporate Development with Locus Robotics. Hi, Gina. Hi, Bob. Thanks for being with me today, appreciate it. So as we all know, the industry's going through a lot of changes these days, and what are some of the latest trends that you're seeing out there that are driving warehouse automation? Uh, well, I think there's a lot of different trends, but I'm going to pick out one trend that I think is the trend that's defining the warehouse automation industry. I mean, that trend is flexibility. Um, and you see players from fixed automation to mobile automation, everybody's talking about flexibility. Uh -huh. And some of the reasons um, why everyone wants to promote flexibility is what the warehouse automation industry has experienced over the last couple of years. Uh, so think about you know supply chains during COVID. You saw those massive peaks, um, those you know huge surges in volume. Mm -hmm. um, the last couple of years, you've seen the drawback in volume as things kind of adjusted in the post-COVID era. Mm -hmm. And what warehouse operators have seen is that they need flexibility in their supply chain. They need solutions that can scale. They need solutions that can also scale back down and adjust to their volumes. Mm -hmm. So that's why you'll hear a lot of warehouse automation players talking about their ability to pro provide flexibility to the industry. Flexibility, now you're saying that flexibility with respect to the level of volume at any given time, I get that. What about flexibility within what the actual robot or the actual mm -hmm. piece of automation does? Old style robots, maybe they just do one thing and they do it over and over and over again. Maybe that's not the thing anymore. Tell me about how that works. Yeah, that's a great point because flexibility has a number of different dimensions. It's mm -hmm. not just about the ability to scale up and scale back down with volume. Um, it's also about the robots themselves, a the solution. Mm -hmm. um, so every pr provider, whether you're in fixed or mobile, they'll have a slightly different view of what it means to be flexible. In our world of mobile automation, flexibility means robots that are able to navigate the most challenging brownfield environments. Um, so robots that are able to leverage AI to be able to flexibly navigate obstacles, navigate around people um, to, to complete the task. That's just one element of flexibility. Um, there's other elements such as um, the software itself. Um, so having software that is highly flexible to the customer's needs. Mm -hmm. So while every warehouse might look the same on the outside, on the inside there's a lot of different nuance on the types of workflows and the specific kinds of um, you know, checks that need to take place. And at Locus, we've built in a whole bunch of different features, functionalities that we can configure and enable our customers to flexibly adapt um, the solution to. Software-wise, it's interesting you should bring that up, Gina, because the software, you might have some overarching software which is controlling all these different solutions for different vendors. So the flexibility there is to be able to bring stuff in and bring it out and yet have the same software control it. That also is, I mean, whether that software, what would that be? Warehouse management system, warehouse control system, what would it be? And, and, and that must be flexible too. Yeah, it could be a warehouse execution system. It could be an orchestration platform. Uh, but essentially our customers, warehouse operators, they don't want to be customizing their software. They don't want to customize solutions for their right. warehouse but being able to configure something rapidly and easily to their um, existing processes, to their needs, is a, is a key component of flexibility. Yeah, and not to mention that one size fits all doesn't work in terms of warehouse size. Yep. We're seeing more warehouses and smaller ones at different places, and the, the, the age of like one giant warehouse, that's not really relevant anymore too, right? Exactly. So you yeah. need a solution that can adapt to not just the different volumes, but the different sizes of warehouse, the different layouts, the different uh -huh. industries that you're serving. Um, so again, having strong software, that's not something that you have to customize for every single customer, but you can configure mm -hmm. and easily adapt to their needs is, is a key part of the flexibility story. Seems like we're asking an awful lot of our systems today, doesn't it? And now you're suggesting that to a certain degree, the systems are stepping up to meet those needs, but I'm sure there's more to be done. Tell me about the future of warehouse automation. Where do you see it going? How is it going to get better? Where is it going to get better? What's it going to be able to do in the future that it doesn't do today? Yeah, so good good question. Um, I think flexibility will continue to expand. Um, so the amount of flexibility in the warehouse will continue to get better. Mm -hmm. um, so today, for example, you have highly automated systems, fixed automation, and then you have flexible mobile automation. I think you're going to see something in the middle where you can have a lot of the benefits of fixed automation, those you know highly automated systems, but with the flexibility of mobile automation. Uh -huh. um, so I think as the technology gets better, as the software improves, you're going to have more flexibility in the warehouse across multiple dimensions. Um, I think another key element of flexibility is um, on the commercial model. 
Um, so today there's not a lot of vendors that offer robotics as a service or RAS, mm -hmm. um, but that's just another way that we're able to provide flexibility to the warehouse operator um, is also through the commercial model. And we'll see- well, There you can yeah. scale up, scale your fleet up, scale it down according to- Exactly, you know, you're yeah. You're not locked in. Yeah. I'd imagine there is a certain fear when you're spending all this money on an automation system. Am I gonna be locked in mm -hmm. to that yeah. system and my requirements today? What about my requirements tomorrow? Will I be locked in and not be able to adjust to it? Yeah. You're suggesting that that won't be a problem. Exactly, and, and I think that's why um, it is such a hot topic, a hot trend in the industry today, mm -hmm. is that a lot of companies invested in highly automated systems during the peak of their volumes in COVID, and then they saw those volumes go down and they're left with underutilized systems. Yeah. So how do you have automation that really adapts to your business, scales of your business, and I think having a flexible system, the robots, the software, the intelligence, um, the business model is all part of how you deliver uh, flexibility to customers. I haven't heard the word people come out of your mouth yet. <laughs> the people have to be flexible too, to the degree, to the extent there's even anybody left in the warehouse. We're asking more of our people too, are we not? Yeah, exactly. So I think people are the most flexible resource in the warehouse. They're capable of doing yeah. so many different tasks. Um, so I think people will continue to be a key part of warehouses globally, uh, whether it's in a semi-automated warehouse or even in a fully automated warehouse, you still need people to operate those systems, help optimize those systems. Um, and, you know, people, there'll be different skill sets, different um, yeah, jobs that will be created as a result of all of this flexible automation in the industry. Thanks so much, Gina, for your insights into this very important topic of warehouse automation, what the future will look like, for that matter, what the present looks like. Thanks for that. Can I take a moment, though, to ask you specifically about Locust Robotics? Where are you in this picture? What does Locust Robotics do specifically? How does it fit in? Yeah, so Locust Robotics, uh, we are a global provider of flexible warehouse automation. Uh, so we really pride ourselves on delivering unmatched flexibility. Uh, we have mobile robots that are able to automate a multitude of different tasks. Mm -hmm. We have that um, highly flexible software that I described that um, enables our customers to configure our system to any workflow, any warehouse. Uh, so we're very passionate about the future of flexible automation. Yeah. Gina, thank you again for your time. I really appreciate your insights. Thanks so much. Yeah. I have been speaking with Gina Chung of Locust Robotics. Thank you very much for watching.